Μεταδώστε την είδηση, όχι τον ιό. Spread the news, not the virus. Το Solidarity Now, η ύπατη αρμοστία του ΟΗΕ για τους πρόσφυγες και το pod.gr ενώνουν τις δυνάμεις τους σε podcast για να σε βοηθήσουν. Άκου τις οδηγίες για την αντιμετώπιση του άγχους που προκαλεί η υγειονομική κρίση στα αγγλικά. Spread the news, not the virus. Solidarity Now, the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees and pod.gr Join their forces to support you through a series of podcasts. Listen to the guidelines on how to cope with stress caused by COVID-19 in English. Spread the news, not the virus. In the fight to reduce the transmission of COVID-19, we are all one team. We stay informed, we take precautions, We stay safe and we protect those around us. Coping with stress. Solidarity Now and UNHCR, based on the World Health Organization and AOD guidelines, inform you on how to cope with stress related to the COVID-19 outbreak. 1. It is normal to feel sad, stressed, confused, scared or angry during a crisis. Talking to people you trust, such as your friends and family, can help. 2. Reflect on the reasons why you feel pressured. Divide the possible causes into three categories. A. Those for which there is a practical solution. B. Those that will improve with time. And C. Those for which you cannot do anything. Try to eliminate your concerns about issues that fall into the second and third categories. Try to think, what's the use of worrying about something I cannot fix? 3. While staying at home, maintain a healthy lifestyle as much as possible, including proper diet, sleep, exercise, and social contacts with loved ones at home, and by email and phone with other family and friends. Four, distract yourself by doing things that relax you. For example, contact familiar faces, watch a series or movie that interests you, read a book or go for a walk, but always making sure to follow the social distancing and proper hygiene instructions. Five, Do not use smoking, alcohol, or other drugs to deal with your emotions. If you feel overwhelmed, talk to a health worker or counselor. To speak with someone in Farsi or Arabic for support to deal with your stress, you may call the EPAPSI Psychological Support Helpline. For Farsi speakers, 6936-5144. Two zero, and for Arabic speakers, six nine three six five one four one one three, which is available from eleven to seven Monday to Friday. Six. Have a plan where to go to and how to seek for physical and mental health needs if required. Seven. Get the facts. Gather information that will help you accurately determine your risk so that you can take reasonable precautions. Find a credible source you can trust, such as the WHO website, www.who.int, or AOD website, www.eody.org. gov.gr. Eight. Limit worry and agitation by lessening the time you and your family spend watching or listening to media coverage that is negative or upsetting. Nine. Draw on skills you have used in the past that have helped you to manage previous problems in your life, and use those skills to help you manage your emotions during the challenging time of this outbreak. 10. Resources for self-care are available online by the Refugee Trauma Initiative at 
www.refugeetrauma.org. In English, Greek, French, Farsi, Arabic, Kurmanji, or Urdu. The website also offers child-friendly activities, such as guided movement activities, storytelling sessions, and sing-alongs for children. All resources are designed to be both entertaining and psychologically supportive for children and their families. Coping with stress for children. One, children may respond to stress in different ways, such as being more clingy, anxious, withdrawing, bedwetting, feeling angry or agitated, etc. Two, respond to your child's reactions in a supportive way Listen to their concerns and give them extra love and attention. Three, children need adults' love and attention during difficult times. Give them extra time and attention. Four, remember to listen to your children, speak kindly and reassure them. Five, if possible, create opportunities for the child to play and relax. Six, Try and keep children close to their parents and family and avoid separating children and their caregivers to the extent possible. If separation occurs, for example, due to hospitalization, ensure regular contact, for example, through phone, and reassurance. Seven, keep to regular routines and schedules as much as possible or create new ones in a new environment, including school and learning, as well as time for safe play and relaxing. Eight, provide facts about what has happened and explain what is going on now and give them clear information about how to reduce their risk of being infected by the disease in words that they can understand depending on their age. Nine, this also includes providing information about what could happen in a reassuring way. For example, a family member and or a child may start not feeling well and may have to go to the hospital for some time so doctors can help them feel better. We will not let fear win. Stay safe. Stay home. Ήταν το Frequently Asked Questions for Migrants, ένα podcast του Solidarity Now σε συνεργασία με την ύπατη αρμοστία του ΟΗΕ και το pod.gr που δίνει χρήσιμες πληροφορίες σε πρόσφυγες και μετανάστες που ζουν στη χώρα μας. Βρείτε το podcast στην ιστοσελίδα του Solidarity Now στο pod.gr, στην ιστοσελίδα της ύπατης αρμοστίας help.unhcr.org, Spotify, Apple Podcasts ή όπου ακούς podcast από το κινητό σου. It was the Frequently Asked Questions for Migrants, a podcast by Solidarity Now in collaboration with the UNHCR and pod.gr that gives useful information to refugees and migrants living in Greece. Find the podcast on the Solidarity Now website on pod.gr, on the UNHCR website at help.unhcr.org, on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts from your mobile phone.